Plus Beer Reviews. Welcome to another episode of As the Beer Swirls. Zubaz edition. Yeah. Go Bills. Go Bills. Uh, bills by a billion. Bills by a billion, he says. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Mike, yeah. we've got a beer from huh? the Little Bat Brewing Company. Ooh, brewed And they're located in uh, mm-hmm. Toronto, Canada. Mm-hmm. However, this bitch was brewed in the USA for La Bat USA. Located Impossible. Located in Rochester, New York. It's a... Uh... It's a Canadian maple leaf. Uh, so this is their Labatt Blue Light. Yes. Uh, so this is... Uh, it says... <laughs> it's a beer. No, no. But I want to get this right. Oh, okay. Uh, it's it a says pristine... Pristine Pilsner. Yes. Sure. Uh, yeah, Labatt Blue Light, 4% ABV. Ooh. Uh, right. We've all had it. And if you've been to a Bills game, it's the you've official sponsor. So it. you've yeah. absolutely had it. Uh, brewed with Cascade Hops, buddy. Oh, I love you know Cascade that? Hops. I didn't know know that maybe that's why i like it so much uh 1983 i believe this was introduced to the market is what the deets on the website say if you even care who who are we to argue with the internet uh did you ever have zubaz when you were a kid i did not i was I not did. part of the zubaz nation I, I had i had bill's colored ones and i had dolphins colored ones i know that much oh what'd you get a package from we'll talk later awesome um so again this is a classic macro shelfy beer that you can get all over the place yeah in the united states yeah i don't know about canada i don't think it's available there because so, this is brewed in the united so states. the good news is if you've never had they spell pilsner funny i just pilsner 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 <laughs> uh, no, but Rochester. if you've never had this, the good news is if you watch this and you've never had it, you can probably walk down to your local gas station and get, get this it. exact same can. Yes. Uh, yeah, it looks Maybe like... Maybe not the Bills edition. They should all be the Bills edition. Uh, it looks like a macro light, pristine Pilsner. Uh, it's very clear. Uh, the, the color, it's gold, not much head. orange, not much head at all. Compared Which is, to uh, Miller Lite. We, we, yeah. we just did Miller Lite earlier, so. Maybe that was a pristine. Pristine? Mean, mean, I'm just, yeah. just going to start putting pristine on any macro beer I think. We're idiots. Uh, let's get away. Ooh. That's, uh, that's peanut butter wheat bread. <sighs> yeah. Yep. That's what I'm getting, at least. It's, this smells like the chicken wings after you Tastes eat like them. Blue cheese. <laughs> no. Blue cheese. What I mean by that is after you eat chicken wings, you just down one of these. And you're <laughs> yeah. and the cup at the bar got all these fingerprints. Oh, yeah. The it's chicken all wing sticky. And it's just like, absolutely. Ah, That's down. the only cup you want. I might as well dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Uh, crisp. Clean. It's refreshing. Uh, I still get that. Like, very slight citrus note. A uh, lot of wheat bread. Um, kind of barley notes to it. Um, I mean, there's not a lot there. It's a light beer. <laughs> it's for washing down wings. Now, what I it get... is not. For all the light beers, mm-hmm. then, you're right. It, this is probably one of the least flavorful yeah in my opinion yeah i i think Coors light outranks this one in flavor oh miller that could light. be a miller, miller light definitely miller does and jenny that. light just sits atop but that's not bad but no not at all like i was saying I, you, I, you ate your dozen chicken wings mm-hmm. like the fatty you are and you got all the grease and the butter from the buffalo sauce all over. And you're doing this one of these things. You got the napkins. You're going like that. And you got to pick up the glass like that because the rest of your hand's covered. Oh, yeah. And you're just like. You're looking pristine. You're it's down in it and just going back. And you just look over your body. This is good, right? And all the sauce is dripping off your face. You're like, go Buffalo! Josh, run, baby! This is what this is. I mean, I think it's a buffer between you've just eaten all those wings you got to wash your palate out before you start eating some pizza logs. And this is the perfect beer to do it with. Bit of a dry, like, kind of, like, spicy aftertaste. Oh, I can absolutely see what you're getting. Like a little peppery, yeah. white, white peppery, kind of dry aftertaste. Sure. Yeah, I absolutely get it. 
it goes down really quick. Like Earth Day Two. Yeah, I was, like, I'm not, having a hard time not just. It's like, around in it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Blue light, man. It's. I'll give it a. Three seven. The world of light. Yeah, beers. I give it like a three five. Sure. And there the world go. of light beers. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. You're getting a big deuce can. It's gonna do the job. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. A little sweetness. Now that I'm drinking it more. I think the extra, sweetness is kind of coming through. Extra E is where that sweetness is. When I think of the Zubaz, you know what I think of? Hmm. I think of Daryl Talley with a with a fanny pack <laughs> wearing the Zubaz with his uh, jersey yeah, at the man. autograph signing with his gold chain. See, Zubaz, they spark all sorts of memories from yesteryear. Remember, remember Don Beebe? Yeah, I love Don Beebe. And then Mark Kelso with that funny hat. See? It's all coming back. You got funny memories of Zubaz, light beers, footballs, chicken wings, pizza logs, Cheerios, beers, obviously brewed in the United States, never across the border. Let us know down in the comments. We got a link tree. Whatever. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Go Bells!